American Canine Country, and this is Rocky. Today we have another fun with Fido video for you, featuring musical toys. This is for dogs to engage in your house to enhance your dog's ability to play with you and not play keep away. A lot of dogs take toys and play keep away with them. We want to teach the dog that whatever toy he has in his in his mouth, whatever we have is more important. So we're going to be a little bit like the dog and we're going to play a little chase mine. I have a, a more fun toy for you. So we're going to start off with Rocky playing tug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So he's engaging in the toy and he's got a good grip of the toy. I now run. Woo! I got another one. Look, this one is more fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. He engages with it. I then let go. I grab another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever he has in his mouth, whatever I have, should be more fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, see how he doesn't want this one? I'm just going to keep making him chase me a little prey drive. Yeah, yeah. Good boy. That's a good gift. So what happens is, okay, I might have needed a moment there. I apparently have been sitting on the couch a little too much and taking the social distancing and eating all the girls' co co cookies nonstop a little bit too much. So I just want to cover a few other things about musical toys. First thing you need to remember is that when you play this game, it's toys only. There is a fair exchange video that we shared with you yesterday that is about taking treats and fair exchanging. This is about games and toys. Dogs have a habit of taking socks and underwear and playing keep away with it. It's an object of fun, it's a toy. We wanna teach our dogs that whatever they have in their mouth of fun, whatever we have is just as much fun, if not more. So fair exchange, musical toys, is a great way, A, to exercise yourself, and God only knows I needed that, and exercise your dog a bit. Make sure you play this game in a wonderful safe area, in a living room, in your garage, in an area that your dog can't get away from you. And that fenced in yard is also great, but make sure it's not too big. We have to teach our dogs that playing with us is a great thing. Keep away, not so much, and have a good time with your dog.